All right, guys, welcome back, everybody, to Banisher's Ghosts of New Eden. Still my first playthrough. We have just lit some weird flames for Sika, the witch's apprentice that we um, met earlier that actually nourished us back to health when we fell down the cliff. She sent us on a mission to light these flames, and there's this ghost that is haunting this place. Now we're supposed to talk to her, so let's go. I actually really like her. All ready to go then? Good. She's waiting for you. Are we gonna meet the witch now? Good to see a mistress? Our witch is always this ob obtuse. I don't know what obtuse means, so in case I accidentally insult her, I'm just gonna say this. <laughs> go where? To see your mistress? Ceridian, yes. In a boat. It'll be fun. No, we're going to New Eden. The nightmare's grip on the world is too strong. The fog is too thick. You cannot enter its stronghold. There's no way back to the meeting house. Not yet. And not without help. We've done fine on our own so far. You are dead. <laughs> you're dead? <laughs> Maybe you're not doing quite as well as you think? Yeah. You're blunt, but I take your point. We'll talk to Ceridian before we move on. That's better. Follow me. Careful. Don't rot the bow. Have we far to go? How far is far? Don't worry. You'll be safe. Safe? The mire is home to many angry spirits. <laughs> but my mistress keeps them quiet. Dead quiet. <laughs> Not really a gentleman to other ladies, is he? Old acquaintances, quest completed. And we have a level up, it seems. Or at least we got some. That spectre you fought looked like a harvester. Vanishes and their labels. He'll surely be back. So will I. This area is beautiful. Now we got the level The up. veil seems thinner here. Always has been. We call them the Maya Marshes, but the nearby tribes call it the Ill Mouth. Stay too long, you'd get sick. Is that why Ceridian's wards wane faster than they should? That is because she's dying. I'm sorry. Life's a journey. Death is but one step. This is almost as lovely as that ride through Hedengracht. All we're missing is the hailstones and the Russia at our heels. I'm sure we can arrange something. You do plan the best escapes. What a mess. What happened here? Men happened. War happened. Hmm. People happen. I see how it is. A soul, so what does he want? Destruction, bloodshed, Ceridian's head on a play. They must okay. have known each other once. We could help you banish him. You banishers are so arrogant. He's Ceridian's business. Guess we don't interfere. They're just chilling on the shore. Okay, well, I just tried to. Oh, there's. There's. About Ceridian? What can you tell us about your mentor? I could tell you quite a lot, but I'm not going to. <laughs> She's a very old witch who's tended this very big garden for a very long time. That's it? Believe me, that's more than enough. How did this massive boat just get... Or is this not a boat? It looked like a boat, like a shipwreck. What, are we done? Ooh, sun. Welcome to Ceridian's Island. There is much power here. Oh, you noticed that, did you? Like I say, welcome to Ceridian's Island. <laughs> Show off. <laughs> Oh, 
Bonk. She's at home, and expecting you. Follow the path until you find a black pond near ancient ruins. Okay. I'll see you there soon enough. How does she do that? It's a trick, right? There's more to that one than tricks. The girl is gifted. <laughs> Okay, but this is just the black pond, is it not? Or is this water? No, okay. I wasn't sure. It looks a bit like water, but with some strange patterns on it. What is this? Banisher rule number three. Remember Whiz Beach Bog? No. Hi. I'll not poke this thing with a stick. Okay. One of these lambs, okay. Take that. Hmm. This uh, going to this island with a powerful witch on it reminds me of it, um, the the final book in the Witcher series. Uh, the the novels. There's eight eight books, but five wow, of them are novels. concealed. And in the final book is a witch that has an island and there's a tower in one character arrives there with a with a boat <laughs> felt very familiar <laughs> what is that wool and witch's stone i can't touch these webbings but i won't be able to get us through can remove them but I know I make everything look easy but not getting through here got it okay guess that's a thing we'll learn in a bit oh there's a camp close by can I light this no okay Do you have a torch? Uh, Shelter. If you need a fire to warm you up. There. There it is. There's a torch. Although I'm not certain it is a torch. It's something. It makes fire. <laughs> we did get a level up. Yes. Now, what did I want to get next? Training banish. No, this was one of those trade-offs. Perfect switch. Spirit gauge is full. Reds attack in decrease manifestation cooldown. And shooting with a rifle while the banish gauge is full was the super powerful attack. Uh, these I can't get at the moment. Anything oh. else in the other trees that I might like to get? Maybe something here? Vanish points gains are increased by 15%, but maximum decoction charges. No. <laughs> no. Switch to Antea right after the third light attack to trigger a punch attack that ignores resistance and knocks down the targeted enemy. It costs 40 spirit points. Damage dealt by the perfect switch attack is increased by 20%. Mm, maybe something. No, this one is completely done, eh? Then we can get back up. Still impressed. 
impressive. <laughs> Indeed it is. I don't think I can do these yet. Only until I can see them, but I don't think I can do any harm against those yet. These noises from the vines or roots really drive me nuts. Okay. Hanging dolls. Witches do like to be creepy. <laughs> As a child, I made dolls just like those. <gasps> you witch! <laughs> I bet you did. Are you calling her creepy? This, ladies and gentlemen, is how you stay single. <laughs> this is actually how it looks a lot in the mornings here in my area. Super foggy, very thick. You couldn't even see to this tree sometimes. Like, I live close to the river, and the river is just, I don't know, a few meters away from me. And I can't see the other side of the shore of the river most of the time, because it's just so foggy. But it lifts within a few hours. Slurp, this was very hard. <clears throat> But I think it's very beautiful. I like fog. Seeker's Black Pond. I can see why they call this the Ill Mouth. What these. is that? What the heck? Antia? What is what? What is what? So this is a pond, but it's com it's like it's frozen. Or like it like it's tar. It's it, it's not water. So we're supposed to go up there, but I'm gonna have a look around before we continue. Did she just disappear? Did I accidentally? I don't know, lock her away. Yeah, okay, I'm pretty certain that once we're done with the witch, this will uh, this will be the way we gotta go and she will somehow teach us how to remove all these bloody vines and roots and whatnot. You can change Arthur in this game? Yeah, I know, but I like this one best. <laughs> I think blue suits him very well. Oh, this is dark. Ooh, 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 ooh. Seeker's notes. They're ready and prepared everything you'll need for the ritual. Take them. And next time, get your own ingredients. Seeker. <laughs> okay, these will be places for ritual. But as usual, I'm a bit too early because I've been going around looking at things. So let's, let's just go to our hut. Let's just go to the witch. No, that's not quite true. I knew who I was, it's just... I was lost, and I had nowhere to go. I had no when to go. Does that make sense? Time lays traps for the dead. It's never fair. His voice was a beacon. The light in the darkness that led me back to me. And to the world. You have a powerful connection, you two. Or will have. Or had. Possibly all three. And here he is. 
The other banisher. Greetings. Good day. Come, sit. It's been too long. T too long? As in we, we've of, met? We met. <laughs> of course we have. Just now. Also later. Decades ago. <laughs> Never mind. It's good to see you, Red McRae. I told her our story. I hope you don't mind. Such an ordeal. I'm so very sorry you have to go through it. How hard it must be for you both. I... thank you. But now you're here together, and I'm glad. Because you'll only be able to end this together. She... I don't know if I can trust her. <laughs> Who are you exactly? Who are you exactly? Who is Seeker? We, Banisher, are witches. Ah, that much I knew. <laughs> are you linked to the Nightmare's Wrath? Ceridian sounds familiar. Ceridian. Name sounds very familiar. To a Scotsman, it should. Once, a long time ago, I too was named Seeker. An old friend called me Ceridian. Little Seeker, he said. Serahin, aye. When I needed a new name, I took the one he'd given me. Or at least a form of it that fits my tongue. Ceridian. Fits me well, I think. Why is there no native presence? We must reclaim Antea's body. Okay. We must reclaim Antea's body. But Seeker tells us the meeting house can't be reached. The fog cannot be crossed. Seeker is right. The fog is the nightmare. The nightmare makes the fog? Are these lands plagued? I've never seen so many spectres in one place. Is this really the nightmare's work? Yes, and at the same time, no. no. As the nightmare's reach extends, the void draws closer. The thinner the threshold, the weaker the hem. That disturbs the balance between the invisible and the incarnate. There is no balance between the living and the lingering dead. It's not for me to change your mind. I believe that in times of chaos, we should seek equilibrium in all things and equity for all beings. Yes, I suppose I can see some truth in that. It's like Kate Blanchard vibes. I don't know. It's so, it's so weird because her face looks way younger than I think she is. And the, the white hair and white eyelashes and bright eyebrows and everything make it, I don't know, she, she looks a bit odd. <laughs> I don't know if they intended to make her look not really old, but not really young as well. It's, it's weird. Why is there no native presence? Why have we found so little native presence in New Eden? They have been here, but they have never settled. Wise men and women know that the region, the Maya marshes especially, are rotten. Is that why you settled here? Here, the hem is thin and frail, and the mire rich in agitated spirits. It is also secluded and hard to find. Both excellent reasons to remain. Here, we may hide away and mend the hem. Why bring us here? You brought us here. Why? You have many questions. And I have little time. Your novice mentioned it. I am sorry. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> okay. Soon I'll be one with the trees, root and bark. But that is not why I asked you here. Dearest, dears, 
The path ahead is yet unclear. But know this. If you are to defeat the Nightmare, your hearts must be open. Open, of course, to each other. No barriers. Your bond must be strong. How can we defeat it? How can we even begin to match its power? You surrender. Unconditionally. To each other. When you died, dear Antea, New Eden crumbled. But some yet live. Seek them out. Help them. The Nightmare won't like that. <laughs> no. No. You are, after all, a threat to her existence. And rightly so. She believes you cannot reach into her domain. She is wrong. There is a way. The Void. A dreadful place beneath both the Incarnate and the Invisible. When you have learned to walk the Void, you may use it to enter the Nightmare's Den. First, you must free the people of New Eden from her grip. Help the people responsible t for our fate? What is the Void? I would like to ask both. Hmm. What is this Void? If there's a place beneath the Incarnate and the Invisible, this is the first I've heard of it. Now you have. And not before time. That's enough for now. Is it safe? What will we find there? Who knows what you'll find? It ebbs and flows, expands and contracts, twists and turns. But you won't find safety. In the void, safe has no meaning. Just know this. The moment you enter it, you must escape. In places, the void is breached. Follow the beacons, do not stray, and all will be well. Our seeker crafted you a tuning key. With it, you may open the breach. Don't linger. Time is fickle. She said you must enter, but then immediately escape. Show me your wares about the nightmare. The nightmare in the meeting house was by far the most powerful ghost I've ever faced. From where did it come? Unforgiving wrath is a bottomless well for vengeful spirits. But in this case, I suspect an even more vile source involved. What do you know of Deborah? How was the beast linked to the nightmare? I want to ask all these questions. I hope I will be able to. I want to know about Deborah. What do you know of Deborah? Not much. I have avoided the people of New Eden for decades. I do know she was tried for witchcraft. Was she a witch? Was she one of yours? Would it matter if she was? She was no witch. She was a woman. A victim of the basest of human fears. We know the beast was linked to the nightmare. We're not so clear on how. Through the beast, the nightmare inflicted its curse upon the settlers. The beast was its avatar. I'm sure it has others. Mm -hmm. What are they exactly? They are manifestations of her power. They may also represent her only weakness. The Nightmare's spirit was shattered by the violence that created it. Properly studied, the pieces may provide the key to lifting her curse. So it's like Horcruxes from Harry Potter. You have to dis um, you have to remove the other pieces so that the original is weakened. <laughs> Got it. How did Seeker know where to find me? By the beach as I drowned. You sent Seeker to find me. How did you know where to look? Are you asking an old hedge witch how she knows what goes on in her own garden? The yeah. woods <laughs> and rivers are full of friendly claws. 
and feathers and scales. I always know what I need to know. I guess that's the best answer we can expect. It is the best of all those I've tried, dearest dears. Would a hedge witch have something interesting in her swamps for a banisher? I always have, and I always will. Translucent fiber can be found in the Maya marshes. A few strands spun from translucent ethereal fiber. Um, I would like to sell things for... Oh. Oh, okay, so she's not buying everything. Oh, this is pretty, but I can't afford it. But this is really pretty. I like this. Exiler attire. It looks so neat and so so bright and everything. Looks very pretty. Very noble. Okay, sorry, ma'am, but can't afford your stuff. We found a cursed item. We recently came across a cursed item and thought you could help us cleanse it. Really? Why us? Well, you know, spells, curses, witches. Connection. I was teasing. Hmm. How fun it is to see you square. <laughs> Stop playing with me, man. There are <laughs> many ways to enchant an item or dispel its curse. Seeker may be of help. Go talk to her. She likes to tease you too. She does, yeah. Okay, goodbye. Thank you, Ceridian. We'll be off. Before you leave, tell me. What did you choose? What do you mean? Each of you made a promise to the other. What was it? What did you choose? I chose to go. Mm-mm. -mm. How difficult it must be to follow this path. The greatest of the great mysteries elude us all. But have faith. For there to be peace, there must be an ending. The tuning key is on the table. In the void, it will protect you. Seeker waits at the pool to show you the way. Funny looking spinning wheel. Do you weave with it? Of course. <laughs> I weave essence, Red McGrath. Okay. Essence. Help yourself and take all the help you need. Tuning key. Ceridian's handcraft, a tuning key, opens void breaches. Songs from the moon, dear old child, if you ever fulfill your destiny and choose to leave New Eden, remember that there will always be a place for you in the belly of the moon. Until then, may this humble book, by yours truly, remind you that you have many hidden sisters. Madre. Mother. Between the runes, there are scribbled notes. Find on the left the house of Hades, the invisible god of the dead, a spring, leaf, the lake of oblivion, and nearby a white cypress rising. Do not approach the source. A second source you'll find, cold water flowing from Lake Nemosin, goddess of memory. Gods stand before it. Say, I am a son of the earth and of the starry sky of celestial race, and you too know this. And from the moment with the pantheon of heroes, you shall be a sovereign. Cute. <laughs> Better Persephone dancing across the hem and back than Dionysus wants to go and wants to return. Then again, better Orpheus than Eurydice. Bid the soul of Orpheus sing such notes as warbled to the string, drew iron tears down Pluto's cheek and made hell grant what love did seek. Is Milton their best? Not impressed. What what adult? <laughs> a thing is a thing when it is countable. The first order is in numbers. Theano? Physis is made of things unlimited and things limiting, both the cosmos as a whole and everything in it. Philaus? 
Unlimited things cannot be counted, so things are, by their nature, both countable and uncountable. I hate this. An image of two overlapping circles. The Vesica Piscis, by which the intersection of both circles identical creates the doorway. Witchery. Feels unnatural. Dangerous. Vanishing, of course, is famously safe. <laughs> well, you feel uneasy with things that you have no knowledge and insight to, I guess. Ugh. Some of these weird figurines. Thank you, Ceridian. I shall take my leaf now. Blinded by the light. Talk to Seeker. I like Seeker. Come on, we've work to do. Yes, ma'am. I have to find a safe passage down. Hi. Ceridian gave us a tuning key. Now I know how you pull your little disappearing trick. It's no trick. It's what we do to survive. Too many bastards out there want us dead. So what we saw on the other side of the island, that was a void breach. Yes. You'll be using them too. Yay. But not this one. Not yet. There's another one, a little ways off, in the back of a cave. Use that one for now. This one is special. It's the last and only way into New Eden Town since the bridge burned down. We could go back to New Eden right now? Why would you want to do that? The Nightmare is strong. She has New Eden by the proverbials. Loosen her grasp and maybe, just maybe, you can walk through that breach and live. All right, all right. We get it. Not get going there You yet. have your tuning key. Hold on to it for dear life. That shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Once through the breach, there's no turning back. Keep going and don't look back. Void walking. Can you tell me more about it? I use it to leap from one breach to another, as Ceridian taught me. I don't dally, nor should you. Why not? The void is terra incognita. I suspect Ceridian knows, but isn't saying. Bad sign, that. Very bad sign. I'm curious. What do you think of the nightmare yourself? I think the nightmare is the child of our father's iniquities. And of our own sins, too. Do you admire it? I fear it. But I accept its wrath, as I accept the rain. <laughs> and New Eden surely deserves the flood. Ooh, I sense some wrath there. About you, tell me more about you, Seeker. Tell me about yourself, Seeker. Hmm. How do I put this politely? Fuck off. No. <laughs> Uh, nice. How do I put this politely? No. <laughs> I like her. About Deborah. So, who's Deborah? I know no Deborah. I don't think I've ever known a Deborah. We found a cursed item. We found a cursed object. An object? What object? A chest. Locked and evidently cursed. A curse could mean different things, depending. What do you think happened? We found it in the wilderness. We think maybe someone bound a spirit to it for protection. Ah, I do believe you found a chest belonging to Fear God. Who? I'm sorry, who? Fear God Waterbury, local holy man. Hermit, died years ago. On my wanders, I'd meet his ghost from time to time. Crazy old man. <laughs> More bark than bite, though. Did he have a thing for making cursed boxes? Fear God Waterbury had a talent, and used it to lock things away. Things he considered too dangerous to leave free. Hmm. Ah, chest. How many more are there? I didn't ask and he didn't say. I know it's more than one. I guess it's a lot more than one. 
He had a thing for collecting trinkets and locking them up for safekeeping. Why? Fear God Waterbury believed there was something about New Eden that drew folk to the occult. He wasn't wrong. How do we get it open? How do we get it open? Why would you want to open it? That's demonology, and I'm not one for stepping in no demonology. Even if old Fear God wasn't the worst. But from what he told me, Fear God Waterbury, the man, not his ghost, kept a ritual of unbinding in his breviary. Do you have this breviary? No, but I know he can find it. He spent his last years in seclusion, deep in the dark woods. Go northeast from the hunter's camp. Keep to the east side of the trail until you can turn south. You should come to a clearing. He had a hut there. You forget things sometimes, so here. I'll write it down for you. Thanks. We'll be going. Hope to talk again soon. Yes. I do so enjoy our little chats across the hem. Let me get this right. We are looking for a breviary belonging to a demonologist that Seeker met after his death. All this in order to learn how to cleanse malignant spirits bound to cursed objects. Remember Balthazar H. Frenhofer's teaching. Efficient, adaptive, versatile. Yup. I suppose we'll come back to this one eventually. Can't wait, can you? Into the void. Do we now go through the vines? <laughs> this way? No, which way? Mm. The marker sometimes confuses me. Is this Seeker's cave? Only one way to find out. Go further in. Form ritual. Void traveling. Ooh. Ah, and there will be one more thing. Here's another slot. Okay. Enter or exit a void breach. So, am I now basically in Antea's world? My god, where are we? Remember what we were told. Follow the beacons. Move fast. No looking back. No looking back, I'm running! I'm running, I'm sprinting. Oh god, what the? Okay, okay, okay. Fast, 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 fast. But I want to... Yo, cool! This reminds me of Dishonored. This place looks barren. Lifeless. It looks this freaking cool. This is the realm of the dead. This is the underworld. Let's not linger. No. We make it fast. It also reminds me of this one area in... Baldur's Gate 3. I hear creepy giggling. I'm moving. Uh-oh. Did you hear that? Yes. Keep moving. Uh huh. Yes, ma'am. Don't have to tell me that twice. There. A way out. <laughs> First young girl. Uh oh. How many young girls are there gonna be? What the? Oh, they're calling voice for her. Going on? I know that voice from long ago. I banished its owner. What does that mean? It means we must leave now. They want her there. They want to keep her. Because this is where she belongs. The next beacon is dead. Oh, dang it. Something's wrong. Well, what new abomination is this? I'd say a sorrow used as a Cerberus. That's unheard of. Inside the void, enemies are able to regenerate their health, and Tears power are also amplified. She deals more damage to specters. Okay. I would rather not, you know. Sorrow. 
What is this? Careful, it's just getting stronger. Really? Oh, creepy. Troubles about. No shit. <laughs> I think I need to destroy these things so that the shield is gone. From what hold did this horror crawl? I don't know, but nice. we need to go. This is where we need this is where we leave? Okay, this is where we leave. We're traveling, exit, let's go. Let's get the freak frag out of here. <laughs> This looks cool, this tipping in there. <laughs> Very cool. The you have learned that. Ceridian's key was supposed to get us through unnoticed. I don't know. You have learned the void traveling ritual. You can now enter void breaches. Discovered void breach. Oh. I don't like when they have a pop up that is timed, mind you. And then you have like a dialogue. I cannot read and listen at the same time. I mean, I can read it in my mind and st pay a little bit of attention, but I can't do it like as much as I would like to, you know? Like, why do video games do this all the time? Don't do that. Bloody hell. <laughs> Swift shot. What? Is that a new rifle? Ooh. Bit more damage. Wrath. And vitality. L a bit less vitality. Actually, quite a bit. Rifle weak spot hits damage is increased by 20%. Each weak spot hit with a rifle increases the damage of the rifle by 40%. This effect can be accumulated. Resets after a miss. <sighs> They're both pretty good. I wish I could combine them. <laughs> Imagine facing all the ghosts you banished in the life. Yeah, it would be a lot. Getting closer to New Eden there. Are you all right? I'll do. But that nightmare over there, we know so little about it. That worries me. What about you? Whatever the reason, that nightmare is here because of something these men and women did. New Eden reeks of their guilt. I died because of them. Curse these people. Curse them and their secrets and their sins. I'm sorry. So am I. Are those breaches really safe? We were protected. You heard the whispers. The despair and that one voice. It called to you. Something knew you were there. It saw you. I thought... For, for a moment, I thought of them. Those poor butchered boys. I swear in the void I heard their screaming. Wings. Sent to die for their sultan's pride. It was like I was back in the Balkans. Those ghosts are gone. You asked for their ascent and I gave it to them. They're not in the void. 
I know. This void. Is it hell? Is that what we saw? Is that what we've been sending all those ghosts we've banished? Or is it limbo? A timeless in-between filled with tortured souls. Is that not the same when we banish a ghost, we destroy it. The teaching is clear. What if the teaching is wrong? I heard the voices. They worry me too. But the teaching can't be wrong. Why not? We should have known where we were sending those poor souls. What if you end up there too? All is well. As long as we stay together, all is well. All right. You're right. All is well. I hope. I'll try my best, but I'm dedicated. I decided I'm gonna ascend her, I'm gonna do it. A promise once given. Seeker wasn't lying about the burned down bridge. Which way? North by the mountains or south through the mountains? Let's pick one and see where it takes us. Choose your path. For Jericho. This way. I wanna go and unlock this place first. Unlock another fast travel point. This place will do. For a wee minute. Love the way he talks. All right, I believe you with, a, with zero evidence about the teachings. I know, right? If people would never question teachings, then there would never be progress. Ever. Inventory. I want to see this other... No, what did I get? Rifle. It was a rifle, sorry. It already equipped this one, eh? Kate's rifle. Swift shot. Okay, we stick with Kate's. Just wanted to see if there's anything I can do here. Um, we have all the decoctions, so let's go. Up with you. The Incarnate and the Invisible. Ooh, what's that? Estiano of Crotone wrote centuries ago, our world exists in two forms, depending on how humans perceive it. A place of heat and fire and warm earth. The Incarnate is the world as perceived by the living. A place of cold and water and ice earth. The Invisible is the world as perceived by the spirits of the dead. This is a truth unknown or misunderstood by most. As witches, we are able to see the invisible without supernatural help, with innate talent or heart training. For most humans, perceiving the invisible in its entirety requires that a willing spirit share their vision. This means that the human must be haunted by that spirit. Hey, we can do that. There must be a soul tie between them, and while ghosts may cross the boundary and affect the incarnate in small ways, sound, cold, or heat, dark shadows, that unnerving feeling that someone is in an empty room with you, etc. For most of them see the incarnate in all its dimensions, sound, colors, living beings, etc. Requires a living human or physical item that acts as a hook or beacon into the physical world. Both the incarnate and the invisible are defined by space and time. Theano and all the antic seekers were so right about geometry and magic. Since I journeyed in both realms, I now understand the experience of a being within... Of a being within, it is very different. A small room in the incarnate could feel like the whole world in the invisible. A short moment in the incarnate could stretch for weeks in the invisible. Or a week could pass in the blink of an eye, and although spirits, having once been part of the incarnate, may perceive it, at times even interact with it in limited ways, they tend to see the world of the living as blurry and indistinct, or as a flat backdrop, like painted stage scenery, especially when they linger alone. Only when they focus on a specific person or place can they see them as they are. They slowly forget the big picture. They lose the world as a whole. 
since they are lost in between. As witches, it is our duty to help them find their place and help the living be safe, even if those will hate it. Even if those will hate is since they can see like we do, nor accept the truth we know. The seeker. I sometimes wonder if there's typos in there, because sometimes the text don't make too much sense to me. So we can choose this path or this path. I like this one. This one is shorter. But this looks more inviting, so I'm gonna go this way. See, it has a nice waterfall. What a lovely scenery. Let's go. A lovely sprint through I'd the woods. I'd like to see the highlands again one day. These mountains aren't they bad, but I'm no Ben nervous. Mm -hmm. Yours is a hill compared to Pico Torquino. My mountain is bigger than yours. Wow. Well, but my island is bigger than yours. Call it a draw, shall we? Mine is bigger than yours. Ma very mature. <laughs> very grown up. Sorry, mate. <laughs> he fell so hard, he's just vertically stuck in the ground like that now. <laughs> he came down with such a force, he's like, boom. <laughs> oh. Good nice. Oh, there's water in there. Sorry, I thought it's just like a. Uh, what are they called? I have a blackout, guys. I don't remember the word for it. Oh, can I teleport over from here? Ooh, looks like we could. Sinkhole is the word. Do. Oh man. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, we take the long way around. No, not void. Um. Sinkhole is the, the word, I think. Yes, yes, I am aware. You know these big holes that just appear in, in real world? from here Ugh. ma'am from which angle do I gotta approach this the spot has to be close I thought I was close I tried to go up there that didn't work Oof. I think also scary, right? I wish I could drop down here. Didn't I just try that here? <laughs> Never mind. I have another insight. Watch out. Spectre position. Where? Where? Where's the little fucker? No, you won't! Oh, oh shite! Move it! Okay, I'm moving it, I'm moving it. Oh, oh what? Yo! Rude. I'm gonna punch you back. I do it? Oh, this just shows that I could jump back, huh? Okay. <gasps> Destruction! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> that piece just went through oblivion. Into the void. Mossy polypore piece of eight and wool.
and more wool. Hmm, what's up there? Let's see. We go spelunking. We go spelunking. That reminds me that I'm really looking forward to my playthrough of Sons of the Forest, which I intend to play after this. I haven't played it since um, the initial early access release. Am I on the right track here? I'm not sure. Kind of seems like it's sending me this way. Gonna play some of the first? Yeah, I am. I, yeah, like I said, I played it on the initial release in February 2023, and then I haven't really touched it again. Sometimes, you know, for an hour, just chopping trees and hanging out with Kelvin. <laughs> That's it. And they changed so much since then. I definitely want to try that again. And now it came out, like full release. And they keep updating it all the time. Mines. The mountains must be rich in ore. It looks a bit rickety. Too far away. It's okay. built for a team. One man alone should be fine. It should be. Isolation quest started. Duck. Won't budge. A tangle of rope work blocks it up. I see, don't backseat. Soul shard. like this is the position I need to be on to go up there. Oh. <laughs> Wasn't I always? <laughs> Ooh, the tension between the two. No, my loot! <laughs> it fell down. God, there's so many tele teleportation places now. Ugh. Oh god, oh, oh god, the camera's a bit funky here. Yes, yes. Oh, sorry, mate. Ugh. Not a pleasant way to die. Hmm. Well, Which day is pleasant? Die, there, I guess. I mean, you could go out while doing certain things with your partner, I guess. Oh, multiple partners. Wait, come see this. <laughs> Depends on the fantasies. And then, I don't know. I guess there's better ways to go than being crushed, right? Almost there. Almost. Okay. What? <laughs> ah, I said, I, I was thinking I saw something shimmering and sparkling. <laughs> copper. Hmm. Can't recall ever picking up co copper before. Getting there, eh? The oh should shit! Be freed now. <laughs> hmm. Me jumpy? No. So now I just need to find a way back down. Whoosh. To. Oh God. 
Guys, do you have a favorite of these two, Antea versus Red? I like them both, but I definitely prefer Red. Love the Scottish, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and just his humor and how real he is, and I don't know. Seems like a genuine good soul. And she, she too, of course, but I don't know. I think he's funny. Why is this locked? What do you mean? These beams look fragile. Well, they hold. Would you rather climb? If it up to me, I wouldn't be here to begin with. <sighs> Amen. <laughs> I would say the exact same in his position. <laughs> oh god, please don't break. Please don't break. Please don't break. Please don't break. Oh, <gasps> chest! Loot! Do you see that, Anteo? Let's go. Yoink. I think Red is a little more compassionate. Savage River. Punch damage, 16. Ooh, that's not bad. Persistence. Pretty much the same than this one. Punch attack is increased by 50%, but the spirit points cost of punch attack is increased by... F I hate these trade-offs. Oh, man. I just want to have buffs. I don't want to have, like, you get... You, you you increase this, but you decrease that. That is becoming more and more common in games, I think, and I'm not a fan. <laughs> Oh, <gasps> guys, there's snow. Okay, if you don't know me, I love snow. I really do. <sighs> Can't beat the snow. My sisters and I used to have snowball fights all the time. Of course, they always had to win. What about you? I once went to Cambridge with my mentor, Nicolas Fatio de Dillier, <sighs> to visit his friend Isaac. Now, and Mr. Fog. Newton is a great scientist, but he and Nicola did drone on. Looking out the window, I saw white. <gasps> no I way. went into the courtyard. Snowflakes drifted slowly down. I'd like to say I'm embarrassed to admit this, but I danced in the snow in the courtyard at Cambridge University. No need to be embarrassed. I do that all the time. I love snow. In games and in real life. I just love snow. <sighs> this is nice. And how slowly the snow is falling. So pretty. And I get fog as well. Snow and fog. Mount Pleasant discovered. Okay. Ooh, 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 shinies. Striped winter green. I wish they would one shot them. Always. I think I used to coat my wolf kills on one hand. I think we've hit an earth. Oh, I wanted to hold it, I thought... I... I'm stuck! I can't move! Son of a... Oh, it's one of the purple ones. Bloody mongrel! Bloody mongrel! <laughs> to hell. Hit him! Red, come on! There you go. Good, good guy. <laughs> good boy. <laughs> Too many puppies around here. This is very thick fog.
Do you do snowmen? You mean building a snowman when it's snowy outside? Yeah, sure. I also do ice angels or snow angels or how they're called. Believe me, I'm I'm a kid in a yes. hum ad adult body. Nearby. Spell the fog. Is this where I need to go? Oh, the music is so beautiful. What? Where? What? Where? Up there, I guess? Aha! Mm. Uh -huh. There it is. Bam! The backhand slap. My god. He's oh, a some of that. strong one. I'm not always sure what these... Um, sometimes in the fight, Red has these golden circles around him, and I'm not too sure what it means. I thought it's telling me that my banishment meter is full, but it's not. So maybe somebody can tell me what that means. <laughs> Is there a way for me to get down again or up? He wouldn't climb down here. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, wrong, wrong area. Like there's nothing worse than when it's cold outside and you get a bit of snow behind your scarf and then oh, shite. that is so comfy. Clouded Harvester. Oh, you're a big boy. Oh, you're a big boy. You're a very big boy. Any bots out think, huh? Move, 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 move. move. Watch it. That Harvester switched for physical to spectral. They do that. Run again, huh? Oh, head. Head is the weak point, I guess. Oh, shit. I didn't get him. Once more over feeding. Okay. I see spikes. It's going all out. Almost got him. I can see things. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I couldn't see how fast, though. They linger for way too long, and then suddenly they come out of nowhere. Bending the rules, are we? Oh, you can interrupt that? It's about to strike. No. Oh, hello. Almost. Don't just stand there. Move. Ooh. Ready and waiting. A harvester. Nice. Wonder how many other species of scourge New Eden has in store. Perish the thought. Cool. That fight was fun. I like that. Wait. 
Okay, I thought there was a little box that I could open. Weird thing to say, but the way the corpses fall is well done. They have a real oomph to it. <laughs> oomph. <laughs> Very Something's beautifully here. described. Hidden. As always. Magnetite, ooh. Like that you get different materials when you move across the map. Okay, this one is blocked. A soul shard has been acquired. So now I can use this to go down. Oh, what's that? Cannot read the books. He moves quite fast sometimes. Okay, let me just put the rope there so I could move down there if I wanted to. Yeah, I'm liking the game. If I wouldn't like it, I would have stopped playing it. Which, usually I make uh, good research before I decide on playing a game in the first place, so... You rarely see me stopping a game. I make a commitment and then I finish things. <laughs> but I only stop things that I definitely, uh, genuinely have interest in. Is this the way? Yeah. You've done quite well. You'll make a possible banisher yet. And your dose, did you? Don't get cocky. There's always more to learn. Key thing about a scourge? A scourge is made of many spectres merged. Not always. A harvester, for example, is a scourge born of a single spectre. A scourge will always seek a new physical body, often made of different materials. Very poor. Perhaps you'd prefer an easier question? On the nature of a ghost, perhaps? Ghosts have ties, ghosts leech essence, ghosts have unfinished business. Uh... Ghosts of unfinished business. And apparently that includes asking questions. You may not know much, but you have the cheek. I'll give you that. I hope Oof. it's enough. Hope so too. Me pen. I heard ya. Jericho, New Eden Town. Where are you? Over. Do you hear that? Over here. Hello, ghost lady. Oh, buddy. Did you Bless see you. <laughs> Let's she <follow> sneezed. <laughs> no love lost. Oh. <laughs> this, this. This again. One what less happens to worry about. Watch out. Spectre possession. No, 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 no. Is it just that I get more points? More vanishing points. 
try to find a way across. Up there. Maybe it does. Um, this says that there's gonna be a camp for me here. Someone's left us a fire camp to use. Yeah. Just need to get up there now, eh? Question is how. I am lost without you. Oh, it's here. Okay, never mind. <laughs> level okay removal banishing deals up to 50% increased damage the higher the enemy health points gauge while the spirit gauge is full reds attacks decrease manifestations cooldown draining banish death blow spirit restock hitting an enemy with entail reloads the rifle next rifle hit damage is increased by 25% Hmm. Wait, can I only ha I don't understand this sometimes. I like this one. I'm gonna stick with this. So I have to take one of these then. Hey. <laughs> so, this one only? Okay, weird. I don't like the skill tree. <laughs> I feel too limited with the skill tree. It's always a trade-off. Everything is a trade-off. Wait, no, let me check if I have another amulet that I would rather have. No, okay. Whoa, it's my first rare item, guys! Look, it's blue! Pog. Okay, looks like I have all my decoctions, so let's go. What's that? Ah, just more mushroom. Okay. Keep, keep, keep. Okay, just some dead guy. Wasn't she up here? Where'd she go? Up there now? I cannot go there. Follow the ghost. Bloody ghost, you won't help? Come here. Leave me like this. Up there? <laughs> a bit dramatic, aren't we? This could be a good spot to cross. Cro cross? Ma'am? What do you mean? This could be a good... What do you mean? As in jumping places? Oh, oh, okay, huh? I think I know there. Maybe here? There you go. Now, don't you run away from me. Ghost? Oh, fucking hell. Solve your own problems then. <laughs> Bless you. Wait. She's sneezing all the time. You? You? Oh, Ain't no way. Woman. Oh my god. Would you please stand so Look to me. Let me put the, the rope here. Ah, there she is. Here you are. 
Good day. My name is Rebecca Hardgrave. How may I help you? Are you the one who's attracting the wolves? Wolves? What wolves? Who are you exactly? I'm Antea Duarte. This is Red McGrath. We're banishers. Do you know what that means? Banishers? That means... You can speak to the living on behalf of the dead. That's part of it, yes. Why, do you have someone in mind? Ferdinando Miller. My Fardy. Death parted us, but my love is strong. I came back for him. I love him so. But not once has he come to see me. I must know why. Where can we find him? How did you die? There's no delicate way to ask this, I'm afraid. How did you die? We left civilization in New Eden Town for the cold desert of Fort Jericho. The path was steep and rough, and we were greatly burdened. It was hell, but we walked through it together. As we walked, I fell into a daze. I remember little after that. A pain that grew, a great, uncontrollable tremor. Fatigue, a deathly fatigue. Fadi was at my side as ever. He held my hand, bade me sleep. Poison? When I opened my eyes, I was here, alone. How did you meet him? It was market day. I'll never forget it. It was rich, exotic, an abundance of treasures from across the known world. I saw him through the crowd. Our eyes met. I didn't know it then, but I was meeting the love of my life. I could not admit it to myself, not at first, but I had to have him. And in the end, I did. This is a bit weird. Let's see. Where can we find him? New Eden's a big place. Where can we find him? We were on our way to Fort Jericho. We were to open a store together. It was to be a new beginning for us both, together. Yet he's there, alone. Why don't you go to him? I'm sure he's unhappy. Why don't you go to him? I, I don't want to give her any hope, <laughs> any false hope especially. Why don't you go to him? If you know where he is, why not just go there? I've tried. At first I was able to visit him in the quiet as he slept. I'd watch over him, but now something hinders me. I cannot reach him. I must know that he is well. We have to go now. Find him, please. Find Ferdinando Miller's store. Okay. What now? Oh, this is my teleport thingy to move up there? Yeah. Okay. Like that the snow is setting. Yeah, it was on his head. I was thinking about that too. But oh, there's the shiny thing. More poppers? Oh, they do look annoying. Enough! She can't do a strong attack, can she? For you. Teamwork. Defeat at least four enemies with red and at least four enemies with Antea. Ready and waiting. 
No need, we just defeated them. This way we go. <laughs> that looked funny. What are you thinking? It's more of a feeling. Something's wrong. What are you feeling? Is she hiding something? She said she he never visited. Yeah. She said he never visited. Why? Was it too painful? Or is it something else? Maybe he's guilt-ridden. Maybe he actually did something to her. I like this kind of. You feel like a little detective trying to figure out what happened to people and now ghosts. Frozen Canyon discovered. Ooh. Actually, I haven't seen the map in a while. Let's open that. Oh, wow. Look how we moved. We started here. Oh, there's another haunting case available. Mm hmm. Came around a lot. This is New Eden Town. I don't know if we're gonna open this one as well, or maybe it's just this part. No love lost. A peaceful place. In different times. Before the nightmare's influence, you mean? Let's reach the fort and a fire and warm you up. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks. This way? Looks Something's like concealed. it. What is concealed? And where? I don't see anything. It's a bit choppy at times, like right now. It was very, very well running the entire time. Well, most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time. Shooting? But now in the snowy area, it's a bit choppy sometimes. Let me just override a save here. Ahead. Cannons or something. Please don't shoot me. I come in peace. I'm gonna check out the shed before I go there. Ooh, there's some specters are attacking the fort. What? Take them down. I feel the dark curse or spell. Should find that ritual seeker told us about. I've kept her notes about the hut location. Not now, Evan. Hold fire! That fellow's not dead. Hello. I'm the one who's not dead yet. I have another in sight. Demolition man is worth 300 destructibles. No, no, no. Where are you going? Oh. Hold there. None in, none out. Not living nor dead. Really? I'm gonna be dead soon if you don't Name's let me in. Name's Red McCraith. I'm obviously a banisher. Open the door there. I've business within. Your business is, if you'll excuse my articulating the evidence, 
Not my business. I have my orders. You can't come in. I hear you, friend. What's your name? My name's Andrew White. You seem a pleasant fellow. I like a Scot me, but standing here, I'm on duty. And when I'm on duty, I'm not your friend. Uh, listen, mate. Folk in here have problems enough, and I can't be disobeying orders. Either Priest or Pennington would have my guts, and I fancy neither. Pennington knows I can help. Pennington knows me. He'll know I can help. I'm sure he does. But put one dead man down, and three come back next day. Round here, sweet victory fast turns bitter. Bottom line is, the captain is indisposed, and I'll not add your complications to the pile. Now, you want to lend a hand? Mrs. Priest and her party are overdue. You can't miss the outpost. It looks out across the valley. If you could find her, make sure she doesn't die, you'd surely gain her favor. <laughs> and okay. favor, as they say, opens doors. Literally. Get in a fight and find your boss and dig her out of whatever hole she's in. All right. I can do that. They have spectre troubles. Let's first clear the nearby nest to relieve the fort, then deal with the missing. How holds the fort? How holds the fort? Precariously, that's how. <laughs> Our strength dwindles, and we'll soon run out of powder. Priest took Williams and that other fella, and off they went, scavenging for supplies. They've not yet returned. It's dangerous out there. The scavenger may easily become the carrion. Isn't that a good bargaining chip? saying, hey, I can relieve you of the Spectre issue right now, and you let me in afterwards? No? Heard any good scuttle lately? <laughs> the dead are coming, and you want to gossip. <laughs> I admire your sang Freud, and that's the Lord's truth, but now, sir, is not the time. Right. I'll likely be back. <laughs> Find our friends, Banisher. Or put them to rest. I'll try. As soon as I take care of the Spectre's nest, I'll go looking for the outpost. Come on, you bastards. Death no knocks at their gates. Eddie. No wonder they won't open. They don't have a choice. Another attack may overrun them. The nest might be near. There's a trail to follow in the snow. Okay, I think I need to equip the other... Equip the other quest. Find the source of the spectres. Follow that. Constant backseating seems to be grading from the game. Oh, well, I think it's okay. I've played worse games. <laughs> Where you can't even think More for coming. three seconds. Come and get your breakfast, boys. You mean of this? Okay. That weapon sounded cool. Can I have that? Is your skull gun? Inspectors. The fort will run out of powder. These pests don't spring from nowhere. Uh, I want to investigate this building. If I can. Oh god, it's a bit choppy right now, isn't it? I'm sorry, guys. Maybe I'm sprinting too much. Oh. Stuck. Of course Looks it's like stuck. you're walking. Looks like. No gondola for us. Oh yeah, it's really choppy right now, guys. I don't know what's going on. OK, 
Okay, we're slowly jogging through the snow then. <laughs> Games like God of War and God of War Ragnarok that was backseating this game is fine compared. Oh, uh, yeah. Or Horizon games. Horizon Zero Dawn and Forbidden <gasps> West. Okay, there were a lot of rats Let's coming get back out. Up. Make a run for it! Oh boy, okay. the infested tunnel this how do I seal it Blech. Hmm. don't be choppy game exactly you tell the game now now it's right I guess it's probably the snow lots of particles to load <laughs> Definitely not my rig with my 4080 graphics card. It shouldn't have no problems. Ooh. Okay. I see, I see. So now. Now we push this. And then we can climb on it, I guess. So I can get up there? Maybe? Aha, uh -huh, yeah. That's sweet. Whoosh. This is just loot, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe there's something that I can only see from up here. Uh huh. I should buy the fort a little time. Let's hope it's not too late for the famous Mrs. Priest. The marker on the top is like, wee, 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 wee. <laughs> Make up your mind, compass. What was this? Hello. Now, find your way up. Oh, God. I wonder how many there are in the fort. If you were by the day, I'll wager. Still, better to be inside than out. Hey, creepy noises. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, oh, this is pretty, man. I really enjoy this. Although it's a bit choppy, and that's the only beef that I have right now with it. There was a card coming through here, that's for sure. Did we miss a few? Apparently. Go down and stay down. Try this on for size. The mountain is awash with specters. 
Did the foraging party really come this way? That would explain why they haven't returned. Fervent devotion. Another key? This one. Banish damage. 250. Okay, never mind. 260 is better. <laughs> Banish points gain for. Mm, wisdom 5. I think this is better, over and all. Um, what's this note say? Danger. Out of bounds. No hunting. Nor other endeavor. <laughs> Just don't go with that. Okay. Oh, that camera turned a bit more than I anticipated to do. Find your way up. I guess I did. Slightly. Oh, I drop. feel something close. And what? Ah, here. It's hard to see this on the snow, I think, because the snow has this blue-greenish tint, and then this obviously has this, this spectral green as well, so it looks a bit... You know what I mean? Like, it's just almost the same color because of the snow. It's kind of hard to make out which way... Which way to find these things, then? These webs. Okay, a ghost telling me of a survivor. Hopefully it's a friendly ghost. Whoa, this looks so cool. Damn, really pretty good. <laughs> Climb, 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 climb. This one's not been dead long. Mm. Let's hope he stays that way. Do we have a camp close by? Oh, oh. Lieutenant, as required, this delivery includes three new measuring lines, one belt for lift system, two barrels of lamp oil, ten pickaxes, and entirely paid for in advance. Davies. Thanks, Davies. February 1688, New Eden City and Farms, 134 pounds. Europe, 458 pounds. Boston, 202 pounds. January, New Eden City, 108 pounds. Blah, 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 blah. Shipping plan. Pounds of what? Pounds of what? Looks like they were taken by surprise. What's that? Um. Um. Hmm. I was thinking maybe this gondola thingy was blocked. I could use it now. Yoink. No. I think this area is similar to the map's instructions. Oh. They never learn, do they? <laughs> think you could take on a ghost? Oh, there's more. What? Okay. Okay, can't go over there apparently, I guess. Could this be what's drawn on the map? Could be, maybe. <laughs> Oh, this dark. And out first! Bam! You angry. Is... 
They're shouting. Oh, oh. But we gotta hurry, otherwise they die, maybe, potentially. Maybe it's all scripted and nothing's gonna happen to them, but still... I'm role-playing this. Oh, there's more. Oh no. Did I take it? I'm running! Ma'am, I'm coming! Oh, that was nice. But there's always time for loot, right? Isn't there? <laughs> Gonna make room for the little things in life that fill the pockets. Wow, he has a whole forest on his shoulder. Ma'am, behind you, lady. Uh -oh. Behind you. Yes. <laughs> wow, it must have hurt. Yo, he is chunky. Look at that. Oh my god. <gasps> nope. You think you could take on a ghost? Possession incoming. Oh shit. That's not what I wanted! Ah, oh, oh, fuck! I was trying to charge up my rifle, but he didn't pick it up for an entire- for a lot of time. Get out of there! Yeah. Come on, shoot finally. Oh, what? Nasty. Hey, boy, you're kinda in the way here. Another in sight. Uh, and I'm kind of stuck here. Look. That corpse is gonna shoot. Yeah, I know. I'm a best. Forcing. Stop forcing. Okay, you you fine? Can I come over there? You just sit there for a second while I take stuff. <laughs> you know, I need ingredients, vanishing folks and stuff that takes some resources. A timely arrival. You'll be Haskell's banishers. Thank you. Thank you both. You can see me. Clear as day, just as I can see. This is my husband. I am Helen Priest. Mm, and Te Duarte. This is my partner, Red McGraith. It is rare that the living can see the lingering dead. All I know is one day I woke after seven long years of grief, and my Sebastian was back. It was as if my prayers had at last been answered. That was enough for me. In times of danger, I am duty-bound to protect the woman I love. You understand? Why come back now? What was death like for you? Hmm. I want to ask both. But I think this is more important. Seven years. Why come back now? It did not feel like seven years. Suddenly... I felt her pain calling to me. Divine intervention or otherwise, all that matters is that my dear Sebastian is back. Now, when I need him most. White sent us. We found your men. White sent us, yeah. Andrew White sent us. He thought you might be in trouble. Plainly, you needed your guardian angel. We needed more than one. Thanks to you. We'll resupply the camp. 
Matthews and Williams did not die in vain. This was a risky expedition. But Helen had no choice. If the survivors were to rely on Pennington alone, the fort would have already fallen. You were reckless. Difficult choices must be made, yeah, sometimes. I suspect that's so. Sometimes difficult choices must be made. That's courage. All the courage in the world will be worthless if those in command won't match it. Pennington did this while monsters relentless besieged the fort. I thought I'm talking about her. Oops. But make no mistake, these men's deaths are on the captain's conscience. If he has one. How so? Seven years ago, a plague came to New Eden. Pennington quarantined the sick in the mines, walled them up. They were dark times. Hard times. None knew what the morrow would bring. We all lost much. Too much. As second in command, Sebastian volunteered to stay. Walled in with the others, he held out the longest. He died a hero. And now the Forsaken are rising. They demand revenge. Who would blame them? I watched them die. Soldiers and miners, sick and hungry, begging for help they knew would never come. Captain Pennington has much blood on his hands. You have my sympathy. Command is difficult. Hmm. I'm sorry. You've been through a lot. We have. We are, and will persist till we prevail. We should get back to the fort. We will escort you. Return to Fort Jericho. Find a way out? I'm afraid I locked us in when I broke the latch. If there's a way out, we'll find it. Yes, but... Not today, guys. Because it's pretty late already. I've been going longer than I uh, intended to, but this game is just... A lot of fun to, to play, so I can't wait to continue. I'm going to play throughout the entire weekend, so Saturday and Sunday, and even on Monday, we're going to play more Vanishers. Unless I finish it before that, but I guess I guess there's more to do. All right, guys. Um, yeah, thank you very much for being here, for watching Vanishers. Really appreciate it.